Our brains are the centers of our thought, our emotions, of perception, and even movement. They are at the center of who we are. Brain tumors represent a very serious health condition, and skilled, compassionate care is critical. A brain tumor occurs when certain cells in the brain multiply uncontrollably, forming a growing mass of tissue. These cells can be from inside the brain itself and are called primary tumors, or spread to the brain from another part of the body and are called metastatic tumors. In the U.S., more than 200,000 people are diagnosed with a primary or metastatic brain tumor each year. One of them is Steve Fintel of High Ridge, Missouri, a 64-year-old retiree and a brain cancer survivor. First time I went to see Dr. Stephen West, he had me do an MRI from the neck up, the whole head. When he called me in after the MRI to discuss what he had found, he says, I have good news and I have bad news. And I said, what's the news? He said, well, the lumps in your throat are benign, but I'm going to do a biopsy on one just to make sure. And he said, the reason for that is because you have a brain tumor. And I go, oh, really? And he said, it's sitting on the outside of the head, of the brain, excuse me, right above your right optic nerve. Steve's neurosurgeon is Dr. Eric Sinkoff. There are several types of brain tumors. Some of them occur on the surface of the brain. They're what we call extra-axial brain tumors. Other types of brain tumors occur in the substance of the brain itself, typically called gliomas. The causes of brain tumors are not completely understood, but may include race, age, radiation or chemical exposure, or family history. I was diagnosed with a meningioma tumor, and I asked every doctor that I went to, where does it come from and what causes it? It's a mystery of science. Oftentimes we don't know the cause. Some people don't have any symptoms at all, and we discover the tumor incidentally. They may have a car accident or something like that, and a CAT scan is done and someone notices a tumor. In other cases, the tumor, by virtue of its, of its growth, putting pressure on the brain, uh, causing swelling or edema in the brain, can cause symptoms ranging from uh, weakness on one side of the body, difficulty with speech, headaches, dizziness. In determining whether or not tumors are malignant or assessing their degree of malignancy, obviously the gold standard is to biopsy it or resect part of the tumor and look at it under a microscope. There are more than 120 different types of brain tumors, making choosing the proper treatment more challenging. The mainstay of treatment for most tumors is surgery followed by radiation, in some cases chemotherapy. My surgery took about four or five hours. I was in the hospital less than a week. I was surprised that I had the surgery on the 31st of August, and I was out by that Friday. The prognosis for someone with a brain tumor, again, depends a lot upon where the tumor is. Uh, it also depends upon its grade or how malignant it is. The most malignant tumor we deal with would be glioblastoma, which is a grade four tumor. Uh, the prognosis for that tumor is rather poor. Other tumors, such as meningiomas, which are generally benign and occur generally on the surface of the brain, if they can be resected entirely, the prognosis is very good. So now it's just a matter of every six months going in for an MRI and being checked, but I don't have any side effects, no pain, my vision has improved. At SSM Neurosciences, we have all the modalities for treatment of brain tumors at our disposal. We also have a team of oncologists uh, uh, who help us when we're dealing with more uh, malignant tumors or metastatic types of tumors. As far as I'm concerned, the SSM hospital network is probably, I would say, a good five star in the St. Louis area. Because of the excellent care and the expertise of the doctors, Levy and Dr. Sinkoff and all the, the staff here at St. Clair's Hospital, and then of course the other doctors involved. So, you know, when you have a good team working together, you can't go wrong. To connect with an SSM neurosurgeon, call 1-866-SSM-DOCS.